In a world where delicacy is defined by the latest Instagram food trend, there's a sandwich that says no. I won't change. The Sailor Sandwich. It's something your grandma has been taking you to get at the same spot since you were a little kid. That is, if you're from Richmond. It's a uh, grilled rye with spicy mustard, grilled pastrami, and uh, Swiss cheese with a knockwurst on top. Grilled, delicious, big. It's a lot of meat. And like so many things in the River City, the Sailor Sandwich is a unique cultural phenomenon on its own. It's rarely found outside of Richmond, but it's on the menu of some of the most historic restaurants in the city. We are Richmond's oldest restaurant. We've been here since 1929. I think people appreciate it for a couple of reasons. The first is it's very tasty. The knockwurst and the pastrami lend itself to each other. They balance themselves really well. So it's tasty, but I think there's a lot of tradition behind it too. I'll have people walk in that I can tell haven't been in here in maybe 10 years. They're kind of looking around, I can tell what they're in here for, and I'll say, you want a sailor sandwich with potato salad? And they'll say yes. If you Google sailor sandwich and look at the Wikipedia page, it will confirm that the sandwich was in fact invented at a deli in Richmond, Virginia. It's actually our, it's our most ordered item probably. So we get a lot of them. Thanks, Chef Mike. Let's step into the kitchen and see how it's made. Throw that bread on the grill and get that knockwurst going. Pastrami on. Listen to this. Yeah. Slam that Swiss cheese right down on top. Let it ride. Bread in the salamander. Meat in the salamander. This is gonna finish it off. Take five. Bread, stack. This sandwich is open-faced. Hot mustard. Make them kiss. Add the cherry on top. I love it when a plan comes together. That is a sailor sandwich. Demetrius Sipsis, owner of the New York Deli, says they were the first restaurant to serve the sandwich. So, what's the story? In 1943, when the Brandeis owned it, the University of Richmond had a V. 12 program, which I think was like a um, young sailors training type program during, during the war. They would come in here with their paychecks and they would spend their money. They, they put it together and the Austrian woman would call back another sandwich for the sailors, another sandwich for the sailors. She'd keep calling that back. So then it morphed into sailor sandwich from that. Wikipedia credits the New York Deli as the original creator of the sandwich. But can a sandwich so easily be claimed to one restaurant? Or like a hamburger, are there different stories of Genesis? We have the menus that show the, up on the wall right there that show we are the oldest place with it. If anyone has a menu that has it on there older, please bring it by and I'll stand corrected. But no, nobody has menus with it older than we do. And uh, most people that are alive and that were in the program have come in here and, and have told me, yes, that's where it was created and how it was created. So I've, I've talked to some of the old vets and old sailors that have come in here, and that's what they've said. There's the menus right up there, you know? How much more proof do you need? But others in town say different.
that was created up in, in Baltimore on the docks where one day somebody had some hot dogs and somebody else had some pastrami sandwiches and they were looking for something different because they've been eating the same thing every day so somebody just combined them and made something brand new and all of a sudden everybody loved it and that's where that's what I heard where it came from. Now if we believed everything we read on the internet then we would say that the New York Deli made it for sure. However the original Chaka's was opened in 1952. Mario Chaka the owner had three grandchildren who all opened delis of their own. From what I understand is they all pronounced them a little bit differently so you'd know which one you were going to. One was Chaka's, one was Chiaka's, and one was Chioka's. And you would go to one of the Chaka's to get a Reuben sandwich, you would go to one of them to get a Sailor sandwich, and you go to another one to get a pizza pie. According to this story, the sandwich is considered a depression food, something you made by throwing together whatever you had during the Great Depression. It was born as a cheap snack on the Baltimore dock, which makes more sense given the name and considering that Richmond is landlocked. I mean, you know, it just which side are you on on the sailor sandwich battle? I've never heard anybody that's a fan of New York Deli come in here and say, oh, we created it. I've always heard it was created up in Baltimore in the docks, the shipyards. So which side are we on? Whichever side you choose, either would agree the sailor sandwich is a Richmond tradition. You hear people come in from all over the place and they've never even heard of it. I don't think I knew what it was before I moved here. You know, so I think it's the sailor sandwich is a very unique to this area, whether just the East Coast or just in Virginia or, or not. I don't think it's out West. I don't think it's down South. I don't think it's up North. I think most people that come in say, what, what is this sailor? I don't, I don't understand what this sailor sandwich is. So. A lot of people try it out just because it's something different that they're not used to. It's very unique, it's very different. I would say that it's eclectic. Pastrami and Swiss is a sandwich by itself, as is a, an awkward sandwich. Richmond has really kind of a diverse crowd that's growing, and so I think that that, you know, it's, it's just this kind of um, mesh of, of stuff coming together, plus the fact that it's steeped in tradition from the University of Richmond with the sailors and, and, the, and the, the vibrant history of Richmond. People just grew up with it here and they've always had a sailor sandwich on the menu wherever they go as long, you know, and most people stay in their hometown. So I guess growing up, it's just never expanded anywhere. There's probably sailor sandwiches in other cities, but I would, I would imagine it's mostly known for being around the Richmond area. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's just the, just such a, uh, like I said, an old school kind of thing that people have grown up with it. That's what they're used to. And Richmond is such a big, a small, big city. You know, it's, it, wants to, it wants to grow, but it also doesn't want to change either. So I think that's the way a lot of the, the mentality of the people growing up in Richmond feel like. Overall, it's a great sandwich. Definitely come back for another one. What shall we do with a drunken sailor? What shall we do with a drunken sailor? What shall we do with a drunken sailor? Lying in the morning. Way and up she rises, 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 way